Hey guys, what you're currently seeing at the moment, uh, for any of you out there who are mildly interested in coding or whatnot, this is basically a quick run through of the code for the Clear UI downloader that you'll uh, get Clear UI from when you actually download it, making one of the files that is stored on WavHub uh, untouchable to most people. I.e., you're going to have a fun time trying to leech it. Uh, but yeah. Just been making this over the past few days. Um, you'll download it, run it, extract. It'll install and extract it for you. Save all the crossfire install locations, and then you can just literally launch the game straight away. Or if you want, go in and edit your backgrounds and whatnot, and it will do that all for you. Which personally, I find a bit more simple than the installers. But hey, so this will be what it looks like. Um, there's obviously no information there at the moment because there's obviously no patch notes, but hey. Uh, you'll be able to download the black, the white, the international versions as well directly from here, so one download gets you everything. Um, if you have already downloaded it before, you won't need to put in your location because it will have saved that. Um, and say if you've been using it beforehand, then yeah no uh, harm done there. Um, but I've got a slight bit of bad news this week about the storage for Crossfire. What I was planning to do here is the um, temp info, the gun, in you see all that, that's how it is in the game room and this is what I was hoping to do in the um, storage but due to Crossfire's wonderful coding that's it's physically stopped me from uh, changing it. So I'm going to have to go to the default kind of layout, which is the gun on the left and all the information on the right, uh, which is really annoying, I find. But hey, uh, I I would show you what I've got, but after spending several hours trying to co coding it all and then finding out that it doesn't work, I'm kind of annoyed at the moment and don't particularly want to show it. Um, next week we'll have more stuff. Um, kind of sorry this doesn't have, have it but hey I've been coding this that and the other but um I've also created to go with the down well to go with the main program a auto updater that will run well you can make it either run whenever you want so just run it and it'll check for a patch download it install it open it in the main program uh and tell you what's happened um or I can make it, or if you, well, yeah, if you want it to, you can make it run every time that you start up, and it will literally, if there's nothing, if there's no patch, it will instantly close. If there is a patch, you'll see a tiny little window at the bottom of your screen in the center, uh, saying that something's downloading. Uh, it'll, it'll download it. It won't patch it instantly. It will open in the main program and then patch it for you. You will need admin access because obviously it's changing program files, of course this won't apply to XP if you're on XP. Um, but yeah, I will show that off next week when it's all finished and working or not. But yeah, this one's been quite a lot shorter content-wise this week, because obviously I'm not showing everything. But hey, uh, more next week, I'll see you then.